Okay, hi, and welcome to this next assembly on Advent. And I have four friends here that I'm going to be introducing in a few moments. They are, of course, candles, uh, and they give us a clue what we're going to be talking about today, the four different weeks of Advent. There is actually a fifth candle as well, which is a white candle, which is very often in the middle. If you can imagine these in a square with the fifth candle in the, minute, in the middle, that's for Christmas Day, which is to recognise the coming of Jesus into the world as a baby. Um, and it's a candle because he referred to himself as the light of the world. So the Lord be with you and also with you. A quick reminder that on the 1st of December at four o'clock, so that's outside school time, whilst you're in your own homes, we have a Zoomed Messy Church, Advent Messy Church. A reminder that you'll need your cuddly animals for that, your teddy bears. Uh, if you have real animals and they are your pets, of course, um, they can feature in our Zoom Advent um, we're also asking you if, if you're going to take part, if you could say if you've got a margarine tub or a jar of jam and it's just finishing perhaps now, if you want to clean one of those up and have those ready for our time together, we are going to be decorating Well, whatever you've got. It could be a margarine tub, it could be a jam jar, whatever works for you. So if you can start thinking about setting one of those or one or two of those aside, that would be fantastic, ready for our time together. So that's going to be coming. So as a reminder, that's the 1st of December, 4 p.m., and uh, more to follow. It's going to be great fun. Uh, and now this. The word Advent comes from the Latin Adventus, which means coming. It is the time of preparation for Christmas, the feast that celebrates the coming of Jesus. Advent also reminds us of Jesus' promise that he would come again at the end of time. The Advent wreath has four candles, one for each Sunday of Advent. Its green branches symbolize the new life we expect. In church, the color that is used during Advent is violet or purple. It's the color of penance and sacrifice, but also of preparation. Halfway through Advent, on Gaudete Sunday, the color is rose, to celebrate that the time of waiting is almost over. Christians prepare during Advent by praying, by asking forgiveness, and by helping those in need. The star you see behind many windows refers to the star of Bethlehem, who pointed the wise man from the east to the child Jesus. With an Advent calendar, kids can count down to Christmas Eve, which marks the end of Advent and the beginning of Christmas. So Advent is about, um, it's about baby, and the baby Jesus uh, being born into our world at Christmas time and uh, bringing the peace and love and the joy, the light of the world that came with all of that. There's a clue about what these candles might be about. But there's also, and I'd like to introduce this into the story, there's also a second Advent. So when Christians, when we celebrate uh, Advent, we actually celebrate two Advents, and they're both about waiting. And the first is about waiting for Christmas Day as Jesus came as a baby into our world. And the second Advent is about recognising that Jesus one day will return to our planet, to the earth, uh, as a man uh, and bring in his kingdom with him Jesus as king will bring in his kingdom and, you know when we pray the Lord's Prayer part of the Lord's Prayer is your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven can you imagine praying as it is in heaven will be as it is on earth heaven perfect wonderful everything you could ever want no sickness no dying no nothing just wonderful with God with Jesus all the time, no problems, praying for that to be down here on earth. That is what will come when Jesus returns to the earth. He'll bring with him that peace, that joy, that love, that, that wonderful perfection. That's what the Bible tells us. Great, great day to look forward to. And so when we celebrate Advent, we celebrate two types of Advent. The first Advent, Jesus coming into the world, and the second Advent, Jesus returning to the earth again one day. Brilliant. So we have four candles here and I'm just going to turn the lights off so we can see them nice and clearly. Bear with me one second. Ooh, it's all dark. So we have four candles and I have my trusty lighter here that hopefully is going to work. There we go. So we have our first candle right there. Our first purple candle and purple is an important colour and every time I say P, the candle goes like that. I'll try and lean back a bit. Uh, purples are really important in the Christian calendar and in church in particular because it recognises the time of Christmas. Purple, the time of Christmas. So uh, if you see a minister and they've got robes on, very often they'll have purple robes or a purple scarf. 
if you like, uh, around their neck. So first of all, hope. This first purple candle represents hope. And Peter writes in the Bible, God has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So it's all about hope and the hope of Christmas and the hope of the second advent of Jesus returning to the earth. Brilliant. So that's hope. Oh, come on, click, click, click. There we are. And there's our second candle. Oh, it's just gone out. That's not very hopeful, is it? Second candle right there. Thinking about it. Hey, second candle, joy. And in the Psalms in the Bible, big chunk of, of prayers and of songs in the middle of the Bible, it says this, that in God's presence, there is a fullness of joy. And this is like the joy of the shepherds when the angels uh, came and announced the fact that Jesus was going to be born in Bethlehem. The, the shepherds would have been full of joy at this incredible news. So we have hope and we have joy. And then this third candle, which is lit on the third Sunday, I should have said these first two are lit, lit on the first Sunday, then the second Sunday of Advent. And then this one lit on the third Sunday of Advent is kind of saying kind of a pat on the back. Well done. You've got halfway through December, halfway through Advent. Um, but this is a, a recognition of love. John said these amazing words in the Bible. He said that God is love. God is love. He talks about love. He loves people. He represents love. But actually, the Bible says that God is love. So you see, we're building up a bit of a picture. We've got hope, first of all. We've got joy. We've got love. These are all amazing things. And then finally, we've got here our fourth candle which is all about peace. There we go. And Jesus said these really encouraging words. And these are really encouraging words if you're struggling with anything today and you're having a bit of a hard day or maybe you've had a hard, bit of a hard week. Jesus said these incredible words while he was on the earth. He said this, peace I live, leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Isn't that amazing? So Jesus gives us his peace. So if we're thinking again about this kingdom for the second advent, when Jesus returns to the earth, which is what we recognise during our time of advent, is that this kingdom will be characterised by what? By hope, the hope of a second kingdom, joy, joy in God's presence, love, because God is love, and peace, peace on earth, goodwill to all men. That's one of the things that we say at Christmas, isn't it? So that's incredibly encouraging. So this is the second um, advent will be characterised by these things, but also the coming of the baby at Christmas, baby Jesus. He summed up that was was summed up by these four things as well. Brilliant. OK, I'm going to give you 30 seconds, 30 second countdown to have a recap in your classes. Off you go. See if you can come up with what each of these four candles represent. Go. Okay, how did you get on? I reckon you got all four. Superb. Well, just in case you didn't, and I'm not going to say the answers just yet, because I've got a video now that will give you the four answers. And we'll also give uh, some other children's ideas of what they see in Advent, what they, what they remember when they think about Advent. So the video coming up has got the answers into the questions. Have a look, have a listen. Also, at the end of this video, there are some great, great questions about Advent that you might want to carry on thinking about in your classes uh, and in the days and weeks to come. Brilliant. God bless you. Um, hopefully see some of you at Messy Church, uh, but otherwise um, see you for the next assembly next time. Bye bye. Advent means to me happiness all the time. I think Advent means time to prepare for Christmas. <laughs> I think Advent means when um, Jesus was born. 
And I think we can get ready by hanging out with family and praying. I think we can get ready by um going to church and praying. 